and welcome to another episode of Smash Nango. I hope you're having a very happy and a very blessed day today. Well, today we're making dessert. And my dear friend Chrissy from Sunkiss Chrissy brought this recipe to my attention. Like I said, she's a great friend and she goes to the theme parks. And some of the food that she shows us is just wonderful. Yeah, you know, one of these days I'm going to get one of those Gideon cookies, everyone. But today she brought to my attention a great recipe, and it is called mahogany cake. I guess you can say it's pre-red velvet cake, but it's also known for being airy and just, just so yummy. So come along with me, and let's get going. And I'm going to first start with our ingredients, everyone. So come on. <laughs> So we're first going to start off with two cups of cake flour. Now I don't have any cake flour, so I'm going to just try using regular flour. I still think it'll be pretty good, but um, let's give it a shot. Two cups of flour, everyone. Well, since the recipe is asking for three tablespoons of cocoa powder, I am going to be doing a substitution. I don't have any cocoa powder in the house. So what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to be using three tablespoons of chocolate syrup. And I'm also going to be adding chocolate tidbits. And then we're going to be using one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, a half cup of unsalted butter, one and a third cups of granulated sugar. Now the recipe says for a fourth cup of canola oil, but I have vegetable oil, so we're going to be using vegetable oil. One and a fourth cup of oil, that is. One fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Two large eggs, but at room temperature. One and a fourth cup of buttermilk, and again at room temperature. And ermine frosting. Now, I don't really know how to do that, so I'm taking the easy way out. So what I'm going to be doing, everyone, I got this cream cheese frosting, and I'm going to mix it up with some Cool Whip, everyone. Now let's get going and get to work. And now I'm going to bake these at the temperature of 350 for approximately 30-35 minutes. And at that point we're going to continue. is the finished product everyone as you can tell I did a little bit of decorating I decided to 
decorate the cake with coconut and I had these toasted almond I guess they're like um, it's a sprinkling it's a very sweet type of taste and you know little little, little pieces of almonds and they're just very tasty and I also decided to add some chocolate sprinkles so I hope you enjoy this recipe everyone take care God bless and remember God loves you. Bye-bye.